Okay, here we have the turbo that we removed yesterday, and I want to talk a little bit about a few pieces that we have here. Okay, if you um, notice here, there are two 10 millimeter bolts that go here on the pedestal to, to secure it down. The inlets are right here at the bottom. And uh, basically, what we have going here is this is a part of the, this is the actuator for the exhaust back pressure valve. And um, this is a useless piece of nonsense, and uh, it's in the way. You can see that I got a light here, and we're looking in. This is the uh, exhaust back pressure valve. It comes on according to oil temperature. When the motor's cold, it turns. So what we're going to do is we're going to see right there at the end of my thumb, there's a rivet there and there's another one right down the shaft. I'm going to grind those off with a Dremel tool and this uh, fin will pop right off the front after I grind those two rivets off the back there. And then uh, the whole assembly right here on the top is going to slide right out and then uh, it's pretty, pretty basic after that. After you slide that um, whole assembly out, let's get a closer look here. In fact, I'm going to switch this up. There go, that's a lot better. So, after you remove, after you remove these two rivets off the inside. The plate comes off and this assembly slides right out the top and you put a three quarters inch freeze plug right there at the top and I'm going to use a little bit of adhesive too. I'm going to use some high temp RVT silicone when I cram it in there. And uh, again it's a three quarter inch freeze plug and that will remove the fin from here. Now that's only half the battle. We also want to go ahead. We also want to um, this whole housing right here. This is where the actuator, this actuator arm, the uh, piece bolts on right here. On the end, you can see where I'm holding it on. Okay, and then that rod right there is what actuates it. It gets <clears throat> engine oil. The temperature is what actuates that thing op open and closed. But this big hump is just in the way. It's, it's definitely in the way. So what we're going to do <clears throat> is pull that snappering in the back. And everything, uh, I do believe, just pushes right back through out the front. And this thing is hollow. And then uh, you use uh, it, the, the oil galley for in here, uh, or where the oil comes up into here, is uh, not tapped or anything. But after we clean it out, we can tap it and put a quarter inch plug in there. Um, so on my, what I'm going to do is right now I'm going to pull it all out and separate the turbo from the pedestal by these four bolts here on the bottom and I'm going to send all that stuff in to the machine shop. The pedestal hollowed out and the uh, EVP. So that's basically uh, step one in the process. I'm going to go ahead and turn the camera off and pull everything out. When I have all the pieces out, I'll uh, turn the camera back on and we can get a look at that. Okay. We went ahead and pulled the pedestal off. Okay. We removed the snap ring. We removed the snap ring from the back here. It holds this cap into place. This cap goes in. Okay, 
and then the snap ring goes in right on top of it okay and behind all that <coughs> was this actuator rod and spring and junk okay this is trash we don't want that anymore that came out of the hole we're not going to use that piece anymore and it gets the bar out of the way for ease of reassembly we do however want to keep the cap and the ring okay need to keep those both because we're going to cap that back off and we're going to have the machine shop tap that out so a quarter inch pipe nut goes right on the end of there i don't know if you can see that here let me set it like that there is a better view we'll put some light on it there you go so you can see that uh the cap nut quarter inch pipe cap nut right there and we're gonna put we probably put the cap back in there um but we got the cap back in there and the snap ring is going to go on top and that'll close it up and that modifies our pedestal okay and you'll also remember this piece right here that goes on the back side of the turbo um as you can see now it's clear through straight as a whistle for a minute okay so this guy goes on here right like that at the factory it's pressed in there okay so basically you got to take quite a bit if you look here you'll see that those are ground down a lot and they used to go through these holes you'll, you'll look here you can see all the grinding i did into the bar too so there's quite a bit you got to remove quite a bit of meat okay and then how i started off was i was using a punch and you could clearly see the line where the two holes were after you drilled the head off and i started punching them alternating left to right using a punch to back them up and um, you don't want to get too overzealous on that this is the punch i was using which is this is a real brand it's a dasco this is a this is not a generic this is made in the usa forged steel this is not junk harbor freight tool and i broke the tip right off it so don't get overzealous pounding on this mofo i wasn't using a huge hammer either i was using a small smooth faced electrician's hammer i find that that's the best hammer for pounding on shit with other than like a rubber mallet or a wood mallet for when the situation calls for it but this was definitely a regular hammer time and uh, so i snapped the end off it well when i snapped the end off it wasn't all the way out it was only out about like that far so i took this bigger chisel and I put it in along the wedge. See what I'm saying? Like it was together like that. I put the chisel in, boom, and separated it off from right in the middle. Again, if it was, if they were together like so, I put the chisel in right here. You know what I mean? It was like that. And it was, it's, they still weren't separated yet. So I stuck the chisel in there and popped them apart. You pull this out, pull this out, and this number. This number uh, is just floating in there. Pulls right out the top. So once that's out, you can freeze plug it. So I'm gonna take this part to the machine shop and have them press a three quarter inch freeze plug in there. And I'm gonna have them tap and put a quarter inch pipe bolt in there. And that'll complete the modification for the turbocharger and the EBV delete. Let me do a tool recap like I normally do. Um, so basically for this project you're going to need a couple different punches um, the bolts on the bottom to release it from the pedestal are 10 millimeter mine were stuck so i did use the half inch wrench to three eighths inch combination down to 10 millimeter um, so i went with that you do need some punches you're going to need a light hammer um, and i do believe uh do yeah that's it oh uh you know what you're gonna need you're gonna need a pair of snap ring pliers okay um these snap ring pliers to uh pull that snap ring out of the back of the ebv valve so there you go there's uh basically how you do that mod okay so thumbs up youtube